All right, so checking out grid view. This is how you get there. Um, you can press menu, grid view, or just from the main screen, you also have an icon right here. So I want to look at some things that will help you out to navigate within the grid first to get started. Um, and we want to look at the Q-Links. I'm just going to do this briefly. I'm not going to get too deep into Q-Links, but a couple of things that help you kind of move around within uh, grid view. So uh, number one, you want to go ahead and click the Q-Link until you get on the, the third light there. And now you have control of your grid I guess your grid value and you could change that here by using the first knob so just just take a look at the top right or top left here so just turning that will kinda of make my grid larger smaller you have uh, control of the note value so eight eighth notes um, eight triplets sixteenth notes sixteen triplets thirty two notes thirty two triplets sixty four or sixty four triplets and then you can turn it off as well so looking at the Q-Link again, I want to click this Q-Link button again until it uh, lights up the fourth light there. And now I have control of some navigation using these uh, the bottom three knobs. So the second knob right here gives me control of the playhead. So I can actually move around and um, choose where I want to start my play. And in order to do that, you got to hit the play button rather than play start. If you hit play start... It'll start from the very beginning, no matter where you leave the playhead. Um, but if I scroll, say I'm editing something right here. And I want to play from this spot rather than from the beginning. Hit the play button rather than the play start, and it'll play from right here. Okay. Okay, the third Q-Link knob right here from the top down, if I'm counting from the top down, one, two, three, the third Q-Link will give me the ability to kind of scroll horizontally. This fourth Q-Link will allow me to zoom horizontally. And as far as I know, you can only zoom horizontally, um, but if you want to zoom manually, you keep the Make sure this icon is highlighted here, and then I can zoom this way. I can also zoom this way with my fingers. So now that I have some uh, basic understandings of navigating through uh, the grid view with some Q-Links, that's going to make it a lot easier to kind of use this. I want to show you all of the bottom tabs. So we have from the right, and I'll go this way. Um, the ability to change the velocity, transpose, edit end, edit start, nudge, and then you have the choice to don't to not snap, which means when you move your your notes, they will not snap to the grid, and whatever that grid is set at, you can kind of just move them smoothly along to any place that you like. But starting over here on velocity, so say I got my beat going. I want to use this tool here, this icon, as my selector tool. So I can select all of this and then control the velocity, which means kind of like the, the volume or the um, pressure at which the, the note or the pad was pressed. So what I'm going to do is I can click right here on this arrow and it'll give me a, a even deeper view of my velocity, but I can control it with the big knob. I can use my hands and just turn it down. So let's just go play that. I've turned down the velocity completely. The next thing I want to look at is transpose. So I can highlight a section and then transpose it, move it, meaning um, into a different key. 
um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to transpose this up in the whole octave. So right now, uh, the first note that it's on is C4. And as you move this, you'll notice it tell you what uh, note, I guess, root note you're on. So the root note of this first chord is on C4 to begin with. So I'm going to move it up to C5. And you'll notice right there, it tells you as soon as you let go of the scroll knob, or as soon as you go up, it'll um, it'll tell you what note you're on. So let's go play that. It's going to go up an octave, then come back down to um, to the original octave that it was on. So the next thing I want to look at is I have the ability to edit the end um, point of my notes and I could do them as a whole. I could do anything, you know, individually by selecting a single note. That way, hit the edit end button, use my scroll knob here or my big knob, whatever you call it. And I can control. If I just control, I didn't know those were both selected. But I could do this to all of my samples. I'm going to just select them all. Excuse me, all my notes. I'm going to select them all and control here and I can shorten the uh, the end of my notes so then again if I hit don't snap um, it's now I can control the length of my note without it uh, jumping from you know the grid so Without the, the don't snap on, it moves on the grid. As you can see, it's very choppy. Turning it don't snap on will move off the grid. Give me finer tuning. Finer control of that. Okay, so now let's move this. We can also do the start point. We can edit that. Same principle, but just at the beginning of the notes and nudge put the don't snap off the nudge it gives me the ability also to move um, where the beginning of where the note starts so right now it's on the grid so I can just move them as a whole kind of horizontally Kind of like transpose, but um, not transpose, but the movement is uh, horizontal, so it's more in time rather than like uh, what key it's in. So I can move my start point here like this on the grid. If I go back to, it was the third key link and use this, I could change the grid value and kind of move in smaller increments if I want. And then also, of course, um, don't snap. I could move smoothly across. A... There it is. Okay, so now we actually have more functions that aren't visible at the moment. But if we hit, hit the shift button, you'll notice uh, the bottom of your tabs will change. And you'll have all these other options. And I'll read them from right to left again. So I have solo, mute, page, copy, cut, and TC, which stands for time correction um, or timing correct. So uh, playing my beat, I can solo this out if I just want to hear this instrument. You can mute it. Just hear everything else. Not sure why you would want to, but I'm going to solo this out. Uh, just for now, just for the purpose of, of checking it out. So what I could do here now is also, I want to select something that I want to delete. And um, I can cut it out. Um, if I want to copy something, I just have to select it. Shift, copy. And then what well, you want to make sure... Your playhead is in the place that you want to paste it. Then you hit shift and paste. And there you go.
All right, so I'm going to move some of these notes over, like, off the grid so I can show you timing correct. So I'll just move them there and hit Shift TC. I want to quantize these notes. Do a bar, hit do it. There you go. I also wanted to note you can move your selected notes around by just pressing down and dragging. Move them up. Transpose them. Move them in time. Some of the other options that you have as far as tools up here, you have an eraser. You can erase all that. You want to just select a single note and erase it. You could do that as well. You can uh, pencil things in. Of course, using your undo, you can um, undo your last moves. I also wanted to mention, if you don't have a live already, that right now I'm working within grid view within a key group um, program or a key group track. So just to take a look at what a drum program would look like, I'm going to scroll over to my track two where I have a drum program. Look in there and this is what you look at. So rather than having to the left, you have, you know, the piano roll going on you have the list of all your drum pads. So as I play those, you can see them um, being selected. Some other things to note at the top of the screen here, you have um, your track. You could select that and change it with your big knob. Scroll through. Um, then you also have your bars. You could change it from within, make it shorter, longer. Uh, you have your bars, beats, and ticks, which is kind of your um, navigation, which you do have control of, like I showed you earlier. With your second knob on Q-Link Light 4. Of course, you have your editing tools that we went over. And then there's also a preference wheel that gives you some, some options as far as your grid view. There it is. Quick little walkthrough of grid view for all of you. So thanks for joining me on this uh, little experience.